Hi everyone and welcome to Monday's Daily Love Reading. We're going to see what comes through for today. As always, please bear in mind that these are general readings. So not every reading will resonate for you and that's okay. If it does, don't forget to let me know in the comments and also like this video um, to show me that you guys found this message insightful. We have Love Spell coming out first. This is the Flaming Roses Hidden Truth Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Um, so yeah, we have love spell. So clearly something is going on in your love life, but this feels a bit mysterious right now. It seems like someone is preparing to like surprise you or there's going to be some kind of revelation. I'm showing like, you know, magic tricks where there's like all the smoke and someone appears. I feel that here. So it's like there's this smoke screen right now where maybe you can't quite see the full picture or situation. But something is going to make an appearance. We have your love is draining my soul. So someone here is feeling kind of exhausted. Um, let me have a look. Listen to your dreams. Okay, some of you may either feel in, under the influence of an ex or you might actually be the one who an ex is thinking about. So I'm just going to get a few more cards to clarify. Quality time is needed, make plans, and romance rekindling. So you've been going through a period of time where maybe you felt a little bit drained or exhausted here. Perhaps you were wondering or worrying about whether the love was fading between you and another person. You could have found yourself questioning a connection. You know, is this serving me or is this going to go anywhere? Um, it just seems like you were really, really tired of a situation. But the good news is you are going to be getting some really good insight for your dreams. And also, I feel here we have someone who is making some plans to spend time with you. And the more time you spend with this person, the quality time, you're going to feel that romance rekindling. You're going to feel like the love is coming back. But this definitely comes after a little bit of time of you feeling maybe quite exhausted or drained. Perhaps you weren't spending enough quality time with this person. I'm showing the numbers 222. Two, two. Um, now, 222 two, two is not only about balance, but it's also an I love you from your person. So someone here is clearly trying to get through and tell you that they do love you, but maybe they've been needing a bit of time or space, or perhaps both of you just haven't been able to spend a lot of time together. So let me look. There's romance rekindling. Who is this with? We've got the fool. So some of you guys could actually be meeting someone new who is going to be helping you move on from an ex. Others of you, this is just a new experience with someone who you are already connected to. So take it whichever way it resonates. The fool is a new energy. It's a fresh start. Um, so you might find yourself taking a bit of a leap of faith in love as well. I do feel a lot of romantic vibes. I'm showing like kind of like dates here. Now it doesn't necessarily feel like first dates, but it does feel like getting to know someone on a much deeper level, spending some really nice time, doing nice things together. Um, so I see you kind of going out and enjoying like a glass of wine, having some nice meals. So you are going to be spending quality time with this person. Um, and it is just going to be like this, this fresh start in your love life. After we have the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords. So I actually think a lot of you were betrayed by a partner in the past. The Hierophant is telling me that you are in a commitment, but with the Seven of Swords, there was some kind of deception there. So you may have been cheated on in the past. You may have just felt um, manipulated by someone. With the Hierophant, this seems to be someone who you had a family with, you were married to, or you were in a very serious relationship. So there was like this deep level of commitment with another person, but that love actually was exhausting. It wasn't necessarily healthy. Um, now, some of you are either currently or have been quite stuck in that relationship, maybe overthinking the past, you know, not able to move away from this person. And the fool is here kind of asking you to take a bit of a leap of faith in love. I actually sense a lot of you have already met or are about to meet someone new. Um, if it's the same person, then let's hope they've changed because this Seven of Swords is not nice energy. It's like this person was wearing a mask um, maybe like throughout the relationship as well or for the last while. Um, 
there's been a lot of healing around that. So you've had to heal a lot from this person's deception. Um, but you are ready with this full energy for a new experience. So let us look into the new experience now. Because dwelling on this past, um, it's not kind of serving you. You're actually finding that that could be keeping you stuck and maybe like draining you a little bit. We have the Eight of Cups. So on the horizon here, we do have someone kind of diving into your life. I really feel this magical appearance. Now, you are being guided with the Eight of Cups to walk away from the past, walk away from those experiences, and focus on the journey ahead. Focus on what is coming your way rather than what has been. Also, Spirit is guiding you to think about what was maybe lacking or missing in this previous relationship so that you know what to look out for. I'm showing lots of red flags here. So you know those warning signs, you know what it is that you don't want um, and you know what you do want. So just making sure that you're not ignoring any red flags as you move forwards. But overall, this is good. I see someone kind of approaching you from a bit of a distance. It's perhaps a little bit of a surprise. Um, yeah, page of wands. So this person, this new person, or I'm saying new person, but that's just because I'm getting the full energy. You might already have known this person for some time. Um, but it's a very clearly, this is a different person than the betrayal. So whoever it was who cheated or manipulated, there's a new person on the scene who may already be here. Um, now this person is a free spirit. They're very creative, but they have blocked creativity. So it's someone who is actually really artistic and creative, but they may not even know it yet. I feel this person has some blocks around their sacral and solar, so they don't always fully realize their own power. Um, but yeah, this person is gonna help you let your hair down as well. I feel that they are, are getting strong earth energy, but I'm also getting that this person thinks about the future. They're very serious about planning ahead. So even if they're not an earth sign, don't worry. It's like they just like to, they like to, you know, be, be prepared. Now, I'm showing this windy path. So it's like things have not been straightforward in your love life at all. But you are about to turn a bend and I just feel something coming around the corner. So this is like a twist and turn in your road, which may have already happened for a lot of you. Um, but you know, this, this new person, this full person, this energy, it's really quite welcoming and warm. It feels very different. It's truly exciting. This person loves nature. They like spending time um, outdoors. They like kind of like, you know, going away where there's lots of nice scenery to enjoy. We have the Ten of Wands. So this person literally just kind of like catch you by surprise. I don't think you anticipate them. I also don't think they anticipate you. The Ten of Wands is telling me that both of you guys had some kind of stress is going on in your life when they, when you met or when you will meet. So you really aren't gonna see each other. It's like two people busy and distracted, but just collide. This is two souls colliding and it's just like, it's, it is fated. It's, um, you're brought together by some kind of higher power. I, I don't feel like you two are like prepared for this at all. Now, this person, whilst they're a free spirit, they're also very responsible, which is why I'm shown they plan ahead. Yeah, they plan ahead. And with the Nine of Pentacles, they may have been single for a long time. This Nine of Pentacles is telling me that this person is self-sufficient and successful. Um, they do enjoy their own, their own time. They've probably not been in a relationship for quite a while. They've been maybe happily single. And I think when you meet someone who's been happily single it shows you that actually they are um you know independent they're not someone who just kind of gets in a relationship for the sake of it so this person is someone who will commit when they feel ready to commit and um, i do feel like don't rush this here let this just like enjoy the dating enjoy having fun with this person you may already be in a relationship with this person as well but look ten of swords five of pentacles so this person has also been through 
some like difficult endings. This is uh, telling me that this person's kind of hit rock bottom. They have had to rebuild themselves. They face some kind of devastation around their own love life or in their own life, maybe like this person has spent a lot of a lot of time like reflecting and meditating and just trying to recover and rest basically. Um they enjoy their own company. There's something really nice about that. This person has some very good friends around them, like supportive people. Um, I'm sure that you you have this pick and mix bag. You could have like quite a few different people if you chose. You know, it's like you're not limited for options. You get this pick and mix bag, like you could have whoever you wanted basically. But this person who you meet as if by fate, it's just, I don't know, it's something magical about this. Like this person just feels like, okay, that is my sweet. That is the one that I want. It is just two souls collide and the rest is history. The star. This is it. This is this is kind of destined. This is fated. I do feel a lot of you are still healing from this past deception. So make sure that you keep you keep working on that. And when you get the chance to spend some quality time with this fool, with this, I hate calling him a fool, but that's what they came out of as. So when you get a chance to spend some quality time with this new person, enjoying this new experience. And like I say, I say new person, but you may already know this person. It's just not the same person who lied and cheated. Because at the end of the day, guys, you deserve a lot better than that. So this person, you're going to enjoy the quality time. You're going to enjoy the romance. Um, they're really going to try and sweep you off, off your feet. But this person's very grounded. So whilst they may be very romantic, they're also quite practical with things. So they're not someone who's going to make grand promises that they don't believe they can fulfill. This person is, like, <clears throat> serious. You know, they, they're sufficient. They... They know what they want and they'll go after that. So this person's likely to kind of do nice things with you, take you away, but they're not just going to be all like sunshine and rainbows. Like they're going to be very practical about this relationship, which means that it's got a good foundation um, and can last a long, long time. So the star is saying that this is a wish come true. Keep surrendering to the outcome that, you know, is for your highest good here because I feel that that place of surrender is what brings these two souls to collide. So once you reach that place of surrender and you've done your healing, that is when that this person is going to make their appearance if they haven't already. And then three of ones on the bottom, you get to start a new journey in love. And this is really going to be truly like magical. It just feels very warm, very loving, and very safe. Like, that's the main word I'm getting. It's, like, safe. Um, it's like a big cushion, you know? It just feels like this is, like, a, a safe space, a safe relationship. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's morning message. Um, I used, like I said, the Jennifer Aquarius tarot deck before, um, the Flaming Roses Hidden Truth one, and I used my Twin Flame tarot, um, which you can buy on my Etsy store if you guys are interested. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, today's reading. Let me know in the comments what resonated. Don't forget to like this video and also hit subscribe to show your support for my channel. I will see you back here tomorrow for our next daily love reading. <laughs>